What were O.J. Simpson's final words? What did he look like at the very end? We may never know, because O.J. had an unusually strict request for everyone who visited him. From the time O.J. Simpson announced that he'd been diagnosed with cancer in a video shared to his ex-account on May 30, 2023, he kept most details of his condition relatively private. In that initial statement, Simpson shared briefly that he underwent treatment and things looked good. Uh, it looks like I beat it. <laughs> I'm happy about that. Unfortunately, it seems that Simpson's cancer was much more severe than he originally let on. He issued one last update about his health on February 11th, 2024. In the video, he thanked his supporters before adding that yet again he was doing well. I think I'm just about over it and I'll be uh, back on that golf course hopefully in a couple of weeks. However, his friend John McKibben, owner of the Grape Street Cafe and Wine Bar, a place Simpson would frequent, told People that Simpson appeared much less upbeat the last time he saw him at the start of March 2024. McKibben explained, He had a cane, his physical well-being was not the norm. But aside from those small updates, few people were aware of Simpson's deteriorating condition. How did he keep it all a secret? It may have been due to a strange request Simpson made during his final months. According to TMZ, Simpson implemented a strict no-phone policy inside his master bedroom. After he went under hospice care, the former NFL star reportedly could no longer get out of bed. As his loved ones ushered in to say their goodbyes, they apparently had to leave their phones outside. The outlet reported that at least 30 people came to visit Simpson at the end of his life, so it's likely each followed these protocols. He also reportedly made his visitors sign non-disclosure agreements when they came to see him, likely to keep his condition, appearance, and final words strictly under wraps. This even included the hospice staff who were treating him and his four living children, Arnell and Jason from his first wife, Marguerite Whitley, and Sidney and Justin, whom he shared with his murdered ex-wife, Nicole Brown. Still, some information did leak out. NDAs didn't stop one source from telling TMZ that Simpson wanted to watch a golf tournament on television in his last days. It's unknown if that individual was ordered to sign the document. However, stories like this may trickle down for years from those who were not presented with an NDA. One significant detail that O.J. Simpson seemingly wanted to remain unknown was the level of medical care he had to receive in the six months leading to his demise. Hospice? Hospice? You talking about hospice? <laughs> no, I, I'm not in any hospital. One insider revealed to TMZ that Simpson had been admitted to the hospital multiple times. He allegedly had also been diagnosed with pneumonia and, as previously noted, had begun relying on a cane. Simpson was reportedly discharged from his final hospitalization just two weeks before he passed away. Despite earlier reports in February 2024 that Simpson had entered hospice care, which OJ denied, the TMZ insider claimed it was only after his last hospital stay that the end-of-life care was enforced. Like much of his time living with the illness, the sports commentator did not divulge his treatments or even his type of cancer. In the family's April 11, 2024 statement about Simpson's death, they also didn't specify this information, only confirming that he died from the disease, seemingly honoring his wishes.